Blah 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 Queer Comedy Troupe presents Oral Only. Good evening, and welcome to Newsmakers. Our guest this evening is Dr. Reginald Splatt, who is best known for his breakthrough work in existential theoretical relativity. Doctor. Pleasure to be here, David. Perhaps we can start with you telling us a little bit about what exactly is existential theoretical relativity. No. Pardon? Unless you really want me to. I really want you to. Oh, I see. My mistake. Right. Well, existential theoretical relativity is, as it were, really boring. Boring? Oh, yes. As boring as putting a cat through a meat grinder. I find that interesting. Right. Well, we put a cat through a meat grinder and then theorize as to if it were actually there. I see. The bits and pieces of the cat were still there, but was the cat still there? And? We still haven't figured that one out, but it's provided me with a comfortable living. And who first came up with the idea of putting the cat in the meat grinder? Well, I'd have to give my husband credit there. He hates cats. And why was he not recognized as a contributor to any of this work? Though he came up with the idea of putting the cat in the meat grinder, he was not qualified to think about it afterwards. He's far too clever. All this work occurred in the early 60s. Quite revolutionary back then. Oh yes, quite true. Uh, People have been putting cats in gardens, cats in hotel rooms, leaving cats with relatives over the weekend. I myself have been putting a cat in a box with dismal results. It wasn't until we put a cat in a meat grinder that things really started heating up. In what way? Well, people got right pissed. Animal testing happens all the time in philosophy. People just don't like to look at it. I know of some recent working being done around is and its various subcomponents involving the dropping of sheep from great heights. Apparently, the mean height of is not is somewhere around 10.47 meters. Why not test on humans? They keep running away. That and the fact it's very difficult to get government approval. Do you know of any instances of government approval? Not officially, but I have heard rumors of secret testing by the military. Secret testing by the military? Yes. They tell a secret and see if anyone can keep it. Evidently, there are still holes in it, considering I heard about it. (laughs) Do you know of any philosophical testing being done by the military? I'm not saying I do, and I'm not saying I don't. But hypothetically... Hypothetically, yes. And these are? Yes, they are. Uh, I mean, what are they? Oh, I see, sorry. Uh, They're working on large-scale theoretical relativity expulsion, wiping out entire armies by rationalizing their non-existence. Any success? Well, a platoon got very disillusioned and needed a timeout once. But no success as such? No. My life's a sham, David. Dr. Reginald Splatt. Thank you. My pleasure. Join us tomorrow, where we will be joined by someone of interest. (laughs) Thanks for the invite, but I can't make it. There's a sheep drop scheduled for the morning. I'm not talking to you anymore. You're a very silly man. Hello? Can anybody Anybody hear me? me? Ah, it's brilliant. brilliant. What What a a breakthrough. Let me write that down.